Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to this little blog video. In today's edition we're going to be looking at uh, two different ways of setting up um, your templates. Key switches versus separate articulations. If you're not into setting up templates and things like that, your eyes have already glazed over. I can see, in which case come back a different time and we'll do something which might appeal to you. But if you are struggling setting up your template and you want to know the best way to do it, then stick with us because this is going to, do you know, it would be tempting to say change your life, but I really think that's unlikely. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Here I am. Um, I'm in my... Uh, B studio as they call it, um, my home studio uh, as opposed to the big one, but we'll talk about that another time. Okay, so I have here an instance of contact uh, and we're going to use uh, Albion 1, where is it? There we go, and we're going to open it up and we're going to load up the string patch. There it goes. In it comes. Uh, talk amongst yourselves while it does its thing. Um, there you go. It's coming off an SSD, so it's reasonably quick. It is very quick, actually. It's great. SSDs have changed the world. What do we do in all the time we used to sit around thinking, watching things load? You know, we had all that extra time in the past. Anyway, here we go. Right, so here it is. So here we have a number of different patches. We have a spiccato, uh, we have a spiccato staccato uh, combination. Pits, Colenio, Sustain, Consordino, Tremolando, all these things you might want. Now, but you have a choice of ways of controlling them. You can either use key switches, and key switches obviously are, um, hang on, let's do that. There we go, let you see the key switch. Um, right down the bottom of the key here, to, I think this is C minus one. Is see, every time I play another note, Now you can just play like that, obviously. But there, a lot of people find that uh, a bit clunky, frankly, um, and they find it difficult. And there's a, a whole range of reasons why you wouldn't necessarily like key switches. Um, if you drop in and start playing back your piece, but you haven't gone over the key switch and the things change, then you may have the wrong articulation. There's lots of reasons. Um, so. There is an alternative. If with with sound with libraries set up like this, um, all you do is you load. Say we're going to have four of our most common articulations. We're going to set up on separate tracks. So what we're first of all going to do is load four identical copies of this. That's one. Here comes another one. That's two. Okay. Actually, let me just zoom in a bit. Here we go. Let's zoom right in at the top there. Where, there we are. Is that uh, there? That'll do. It was where we were anyway. Okay. Look at this number here, 457 megabytes. That's what the amount of memory which this patch is using. You load two in, it doesn't load any more. It doesn't use any more because it's re it's referring to the same sample pool. So you can load as many as you want. You can load them till the cows come home, and it won't make any difference. So we're going to load up four on track MIDI tracks one to four. Okay, and it's still only using 457 megabytes. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. Now we're going to have some uh, MIDI tracks. We'll have four of them. Okay, we're going to, this sets up, a t I'm going to put them to one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to call this one, we're going to have, we're going to call them different articulations. I'm going to have spiccato on that one. Sus on that one. Uh, what else are we going to use? Hmm. Oh, pits. That's a common one. Um, I'm not going to set every single one up. Um, so we're going to just call that one key, uh, string key switch. Now, I'll show you why I'm going to do this. Okay, so here's one. Right, let's now... That is actually spiccato. But you can't rely on it staying spiccato. What you need to do is record into this first little bit here um, the key switch right at the beginning of your sequence. So every time you start playing back your sequence, it sets all these to the correct um, the, 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 the correct articulation. So this one is spiccato. Uh, here we go. Let's just switch. Just talk about yourself for a second. Here we go. Let's do this. Right. So there is the. Uh, 
Can I get them all on the screen at the same time? Yeah. Okay, so... That's not really very good, is it? Okay, here we go. Right. Let's do this. Right. So you can see, if you if you watch um, this bit here, you'll see the, um, the, the articulation changing. So, we're going to start. What we do is just record into this first bar there you go. That sets that to spiccato. Now let's go on to the next one. What do we call that one? We want that one on sustain, which is this one. Where? Oh, here we go. Look. So we're on the second one down now. There. That's sustain. That's E. Right. Let's record that in. Okay. And then pits in the next one. And I think the pits is, is it D? Let's whiz down, see what's what. Uh, where is it? There. Yes, D. Whoop, that. I didn't rewind. Let's go back to the beginning, do that again. Okay, so there they all are. Now what happens, of course, if we just reset them all to random things? Um, so, you know, set them all to octaves and weird stuff. And, um, that one. So just, I'm only going to do is just show you how they right they're all on weird settings if you watch this okay so then you see this is long oct they're all set to long octaves and octave short and things like that if we play it back watch them all sh jump Oop, what happened there what am i looking at one ah oh, hang on let's do that again one there okay so all these tracks are set to the right thing now so now if we want um, to uh, here we go get me back um, there is our template all set so that these we can go through here we don't have to if we don't want to um, use key switches we can just as soon as you pass that you go Whoops, except there's no record, so that's not going to happen. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, now we can have a sustain bit. Okay, and if we want a pits bit underneath, whoops, we don't just loop, turn off. Okay, so we want, I don't know, something like that. And then, if we still want a funky old, I don't know. We can, all I'm doing now is, um, here. I can use, on this last track, I can use it for whatever I like. Anything I want. I don't have to, you know, I can have some weird old sound. Well, it's not weird, it's perfectly... Like that. Okay, so it's not that stressful. Um, you can do it either way, whichever way suits you best, because you're in charge. It's all down to you. And if that's a way you like working, uh, then do it that way. And if you prefer a really nice compact... If you, you see, if you do use key switches for everything, then you're just going to have what, one track marked strings, aren't you? Um, but I think probably, and most of my template is a balance between key switches and uh, separate articulations. So the most common ones I put on separate tracks and the less common ones I leave as key switches. Anyway, there you go. Uh, hope you found that useful. And um, just a reminder that we are in the process of creating... Well, may have done it ages ago now we're creating a lot of free courses and if you want uh, a free course and to discover why so many people find ThinkSpace a really useful way of enhancing their career and getting on and learning useful stuff then just click the button and sign up and as and when we produce them we will let you know and um, we will um, add them to your course account and you can get in there and hang out with other people who are like-minded and have similar problems to you so um, do come and join us. A really um, 
you know, love to see you and um, I hope you come back and join me again for another of these blog videos very soon.